The Infencer's patented unique design allows you to insert silt fence fabric and wire support fence into the ground at the same time. This video will show you a superior silt fence installation method that helps prevent blowout and increase productivity using the Infencer. But before we discuss the simple steps for operating the Infencer, I want to acquaint you with the basic parts of the machine. You will find a diagram of these parts along with written usage and safety instructions in your owner's manual. Be sure to read the owner's manual before operating your Infencer. And as with any equipment, Please take note of the safety and maintenance stickers found on the Infencer that indicate potential dangers with misuse. Also notice the usage and general maintenance points. Here are the parts of the Infencer that you will need to become familiar with. Adjustable stabilizing legs. Coulter wheel for cutting small roots. Hardened steel soil slicing blade. Adjustable crimping wheel for fabric and wire installation. Hydraulic locking device. Fabric roll core centering spool. Adjustable depth gauge. Horizontal chisel point. Removable material shafts. Installing silt fence fabric and support wire with the Infencer requires just a few easy steps. But first, let me remind you to always use caution and common sense when attaching the Infencer to a tractor or skid loader or when transporting or operating it. And don't forget to wear gloves and safety glasses when operating or maintaining the machine. Please have all utilities located and clearly marked before operating the Infencer. The Infencer may be attached to any tractor 45 horsepower or greater with a Category 2 3-point hitch, or you could use an adapter plate to attach it to any skid steer loader. Let me remind you to always use caution when attaching the Infencer to a tractor or skid loader or when transporting or operating it. After attaching the Infencer to the tractor or skid steer and prior to operation, make certain that the stabilizing legs are up and out of the way. These legs allow the Infencer to be freestanding when not attached to your tractor or loader. Again, use common sense and caution when the machine is attached or freestanding. First, install the material shafts for the wire and fabric. Secure the shafts in place with the provided cotter key and check to make certain that the support wire alignment plates are in place so that the roll is secure on the shaft. To prevent bending of the material shafts, remove the fabric and wire from the shafts when transporting. The second step is to install the roll core centering spools on the fabric shaft. This is the feature that allows you to use any size core for fabric rolls. Install the geotextile fabric roll on the shaft closest to the tractor and the wire roll on the rear shaft. When you are installing the rolls of support wire and fabric, or for that matter, any time the Infencer is not in use, the hydraulic locking device should be in the locked position. This device prevents the Infencer from pivoting and is a safety feature that protects you from unexpected movement of the machine. Unlock the hydraulic locking device only when you begin to install the silt fence. Pull fabric and wire under the adjustable crimping wheel together while the machine is lifted. Pull enough wire and fabric under the crimping wheel so that the infencer may be safely lowered to the ground to begin installation. Then position the rolls of fabric and wire to ensure the desired placement. You're ready to lower the Infencer and begin installing the wire-supported silt fence virtually anywhere a trench can be dug. When lowering the Infencer to begin installation, be sure to maintain a safe distance from the machine. Again, unlock the hydraulic locking device only when you begin to install the silt fence into the ground. Here you see the Infencer installing wire-support fence and silt fence fabric in extremely hard soil at 12 inches, its maximum depth capacity. 
In less compacted conditions, the soil disturbance is minimal. The infencer is ideal for applications on gentle slopes or hillsides. Its turning radius makes guiding it a snap. When you're finished, always remove the fabric and wire for transporting. We suggest a daily check of the machine to ensure all parts are in working order. Check the hoses and cylinders to make sure that they are intact with no leakages. Having only a few grease fitting and moving parts means that the infencer requires only monthly maintenance. The infencer requires fewer men, two instead of five or six. In fact, two people can place 100 feet of wire and fabric, not including the post, in the ground per minute. Remember that you can use any type or width of geotextile fabric and any wire or plastic support fence with the infencer without any changes to the machine. It can even be used to install rolled erosion control products. If you have any operational or safety concerns, contact ECI prior to operating the machine at 866-612-1181.